for the longest time people have been getting confused as to what to go in for when they are choosing the storage device that is the main one which is an ssd and an hdd people get confused a lot so today i'll be breaking things down explaining what an ssd is what an hdd is what the differences are between the two and when you should use the two or when you should use either of them yeah so we're doing that today and in, without wasting any time at all let's get into the video is it on okay yeah so first of all um this is an hdd and this is an ssd just to begin with there are bigger types of hdds like this so first of all what is an hdd it stands for a hard disk drive or you just have to put it as a hard disk then this ssd is known as a solid stage drive and ssds come in different forms there are forms of ssds which come in the shape of the hdd and then there are some which come with the like half of the size of this one here yeah. so we are going to be looking at what an hdd is and first of all an hdd is a storage device yes and the way it works is by using a disk i don't know if you can see this very well yeah so there's a disk inside the hdd and then there's this thing here which acts you see if you look at back in the 90s they had this record players where you put the disk onto the player and there's something on it which keeps spinning on the record player that's just exactly how this is so how the hdd works is that their um, information is being stored on this particular disk this hard drive had a very sad story it's like here yeah. <laughs> yeah so the information is kept on the hard drive or sorry on this particular disk but then if you want it to work you have to first connect electricity to the disk then it starts spinning then this particular component it is very fragile this particular component um, attaches itself onto this disk here and then it starts moving around so when you are requesting for information or when you are looking for information or accessing information on your laptop or any device you are working on this thing will have to spin all over on this drive whilst it is spinning around just to find that information that you need yeah but then when you come to the ssd the ssd works like something like a ram it is very solid that's its name solid state and this ssd works by using something called nand nand chips so there are chips on the motherboard of this ssd motherboard you can call it that yeah on the board of this ssd and then every information that you store and everything is kept on it yeah so you would understand as we move on why people would prefer an ssd or why you should go for an ssd in comparison to the hdd that's the hard drive or the hardest drive yeah so i think from there we can move on now to what the main differences are and i think we are going to be looking at different categories speed noise durability and price in terms of speed the ssd is faster than the hdd and it's very obvious it's because of this component this 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 spinning around and then this particular thing having to uh, this thing be on it if i put an hdd inside my laptop and i was let's say getting information just imagine if let's say the the information is at this part of the disk it will have to spin all around and things for this particular spinning thing i've, I've forgotten the actual name for it it will have to now attach itself and then get the information before it now gives back to you but then if i want to use the ssd for um what getting my information I just look for it and then it can easily find it in whatever um, partition or sector that the, the information is. So the SSD actually works faster than the HDD. Then we move on to noise. And then when it comes to, it's, very, it's also very obvious. This thing makes noise a lot, especially when it's about to die. When your hard drive starts making noise a lot or you can hear this thing, it's, it makes a, a particular scratchiness. I don't know if you can be able to hear it. It makes a scratching um, noise when it's about to die. So then you can easily know that now your hard drive is failing and you have to either fix it or get a new one and start removing your stuff from the hard drive. So if you put a hard drive inside a, a PC and then um, it is getting information already, it starts spinning crazily and then it makes too much noise compared to an SSD which doesn't have any movable parts. It is just, just as it is. Do you get it? Yeah, then you want to durability and for durability, um this is really conflicting but then i would choose an hdd or a hard drive over an ssd in terms of durability 
and that will also de depend on a circumstance and we'll be talking about that in the last point so for the hard drive for me why i'll choose it as a, a like a higher and this in priority in durability is because if you are using your hard drive to save let's see store um, stuff just to back up your things this is the best way to go in for people have been complaining that hdds fail them and that is because hdds have a specific number of writing time writing means that you are putting information on it or you are getting information out of it so you are reading information or you are writing information on your ssd it has a limit and uh, macbooks have been shown to actually fail at a, a specific point because the ssds in macbooks have a limit that they can go to read uh, read and write files yeah so me i would go in for a, an hdd in terms of like keeping stuff for longer periods of times i would go in for um, an hdd then we move on to the price and when it comes to pricing an age an hdd is less expensive than an ssd um, you should be getting an SSD, a one terabyte SSD for around 1,500 Ghana CDs. That should be around 120 or 150 dollars. But then for an SSD, you can get some for as cheap as 500 CDs. That's a one terabyte um, hard drive, even if it's used or brand new. And yeah, so in terms of price, HD is affordable, but the SSD is isn't affordable. But then if you want something quality. You have to pay the price for it you see yeah now we move on to when should you use either of them when should you use the ssd when should you use the hdd so we we'll start with the hdd you should use the hdd if you don't have any choice or if you are low on budget and you want something to just like go around with or you want something to just keep in your laptop if you are low on budget you should go in for the S um, hdd and also um, if you want to get a long-term backup you want to be able to keep your files for longer periods. Normally in service, they use these types of hard drives, the bigger types. Yeah. So if let's say you could afford it, you'll be able to afford it. You can go in for the bigger types, but then the smaller types also do the job. They are just the same thing. They just come in different form factors. So for longer periods of times, if you want to be able to back up your information, get a three terabyte um, HDD, one terabyte, two terabytes, and you'll be good to go. But then if you want speed in accessing your files, that is for your laptops or your PCs, go in for an SSD. Because if, let's say, you are a gamer and you are playing certain games, your PC communicates with the SSD. And then, like, so let's say if you want to open a particular game and then you save it on your SSD, because of how fast the SSD is, when you try to access the file immediately, to be able to bring it into you, like, really fast, compared to the HDD having to now come and spin, 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 find the file and then look for it. This makes it really easy. So if you want speed, if you are a gamer or you are just a power hungry person or you're like, you are just someone who uses your PC a lot and you want something really fast, you should go in for the SSD. Yeah, it's as simple as that. And I hope that you learned something new from this video. If it benefited you in any way, then please give me a thumbs up, like subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you soon. But till then, <laughs> bye.